her and there'll be times that I'll see her wearing something and it'll be exactly what I wore the day before or the other day I had on like this outfit and literally the next day she had on the exact same thing and it just makes me smile because you know I hear that from kids that you know are fans but when it's like a little sister and it, it encourages me to do you know other things because my little sister's backstage right now at City of Hope and she's you know if she's going to copy me on those things I want her to copy me on the positive things that I do as well you know things that are like a bigger picture. Tell us about your Sex in the City cameo. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was something that I've always been, like, really into. I've always really liked that show. So, um, I think it's going to be really cool. And, and the, just the cast was, like, so nice. And the director was so nice. And it's, like, such a friendly set. Do you miss me on, on Twitter? And, like, how do you connect to your Hollywood friends when you're not on Twitter? I, um, you know, I, the reason I mostly got rid of my Twitter is because I was just, like, I was so, you know, that's what I said, like, my New Year's resolution was. That I wanted to take more time to actually do the things that I, you know, say I'm doing and really do them to fullest I can and I don't feel like I was doing that so I don't really miss it I think the greatest thing though is um you know being able to stay connected but that's what phones and email are for and you can have like private conversations and not have to worry about you know what other people are going to think or what other people are going to say about it is there anyone you'd like to be stuck in an elevator with dead or alive um maybe John Lennon I would ask him for all the rights to his songs and I would recut them all <laughs> thanks everyone thanks. Okay.